the right wing media, media is now following the left wing media, media. I just want to ask, has this man, has this party got any friends? Because he's not going to stand a chance with everybody, left and right wing media, just bashing him. No. It's no big surprise that the majority of the media, especially political commentators, would fly a left-wing flag if they were re to reveal their preferences, which most of them don't, right? So that said, that is always going to be the case when it comes to having a conservative government in place. But can I just give you an example of how, Ken, those within a conservative party could change their own fortunes? I went on deck this morning and I got onto Google very early today and I was just sort of trying to weigh up a scorecard about Tony Abbott's achievements, his positives, and the negatives. And so you Google these words into your search engines, and I find lots of negatives. I find lots of people either within the party intentionally or unintentionally um, dedicating space to writing down lists of negatives. With the, uh, people talk about domestic issues, but we are in a global environment, and Mr. Abbott is stood out. Yep. True. Leader. Yep, that's, an, that's another positive. Another positive I couldn't find, Ken, and that's my point. Whereas, you know, you can find lists of things like, oh, they were obstinate over the parental pay scheme, you know, we had the Medicare co-payment policy, which was stupid. Here they are wanting to pay off the debt, and yet this is going to some mystery fund for future solutions to diseases. Then Prince Philip, that's everywhere. Uh, Tony Abbott said no new taxes, and we got them. So there are lists of negatives everywhere. So someone is doing a terrific job advertising why the government should be kicked out and why Tony Abbott is no good, but no one's doing the job in reverse. No one's saying, hang on a minute, let's look at the scorecard. That message needs to get out, not just verbally, not just at press conferences, but in other interviews, in other formats, on social media and everywhere, so that when I Google this kind of information, I can see it. But none of that's done. And I think Tony Abbott, Joe Hockey and the rest of them deserve a zero out of ten for selling the message. Paul, hi. You know, look, the problem with today's vote is not so much Tony Abbott, it's still stuck with Joe Hockey. And this will all reoccur again when they can't get the budget through again in May and June. Um, they need a new treasurer. That's where the problem started and that's where the problem has been the last... Would you give Malcolm Turnbull the job of treasury to shut him up, maybe? I, I, not just to shape him up, to help the nation, because Joe Hodge and, to a lesser extent, Christopher Pine just don't get the message that their budget was a...